all, my name is Donna Briggs. I'm here with Nathan Palmer yeah. at the Hard Rock Cafe in yeah. Yankee Stadium. Over Yankee, Yankee Stadium. Yeah, we're in New York, baby. New York City. Yeah. <laughs> so what brings you here to New York City? Uh, I'm here to sing. Uh, last night we had an all-star karaoke uh, with wonderful Patrick, uh, Mr. Riley. Mm -hmm. um, been a wonderful night we had at, uh, at Miss Jessie's. Um, and then uh, tonight I'm here to entertain everybody for happy hour. That sounds fun. Yeah. So what made you get into music? Someone told me a bird said you used to be in the NFL. Yeah, I used to play ball for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So how did you transform from playing ball to singing? I mean, because that's totally different. <laughs> Well, um, I've been a musician all my life. Uh, you know, I grew up in a church, you know, typical story. Um, and then, you know, so I've kind of always bounced and balanced uh, back and forth between uh, both um, football, uh, basketball, and, and music. Um, and this time, you know, I, I went to the Super Bowl. I'll just tell a quick story. I went to the Super Bowl with the Broncos uh, one year. We were losing to the Seahawks. And instead of me going in at halftime, I watched Bruno Mars stand out there at halftime and uh saying you're amazing just the way you are, and the crowd sang it back. So for me, it was like I wanted that kind of impact versus, you know, um, walking out there with a helmet and then taking it off and nobody knows who you are. So um, that was kind of my moment um, where I, I realized that's what I wanted to do for the rest so of my life. that was your calling. Yeah. Well, plus you'll be safer because your bones won't be broken up. Yeah. Everybody I know it's who more, plays the NFL, well, their minds are gone and yeah. then their bones are all cracked up, so yeah. you don't want to be like that. Everything. It'd be too cold. They, they probably out there practicing in the cold right now. Cool on that. Definitely. <laughs> so tell us about your music. Um, well, I have an album out already currently on iTunes under Nathan Palmer. Um, therapy is the first one. It was basically my therapy um, after leaving football, you know, talking myself through a couple of things. Um, and then uh, after that journey, I kind of dove into art a little bit more. And I'm about to actually release a project called Rhythm and Basquiat. Where uh, it's basically my take on rock and B, R and B, my ode to a lot of the the greats and music in both rock and R and B, um, and just taking it and making Beethoven, Bach, Beethoven, Bach. It's, a, it's some strings in there. Okay. I got, I got a song called Samo. Uh, shout out to Basquiat, the original Samo. Okay. Um, but you know, I wanted to do something that kind of gave an ode to art, an ode to someone who I real music, to, real music, real music. Be a real musician uh, and bring it back. You know, I think we're losing a little bit of the art in the music right now, so I wanted to bring it back. So what is your favorite cut off the album? My favorite cut off the album? Ooh, it'll probably be a toss up between Castles, uh, first one, and um, my second one will probably be Little Little Church Boy. It's, it's very personal. Is that supposed to be you? Yeah, it's, it's definitely me. You don't seem like a little church boy, but <laughs> I guess. Well, it depends on what kind of church boy you know. Oh, okay. Well, they're always the bad guys. Hey. I don't know if we're bad. We might be misunderstood sometimes. That's really? All. Okay. Yeah, you got to seek to understand this. That's a, so the castles, you know, what is that about? Uh, castles was my take on if I had one night left on earth, uh, and it could be perfect with the uh, love that I have. Um, and I could, you know, not saying, it, it was like my Romeo and Juliet story. If we go out, um, I wanted to go out smoking. You know, I'm from the Mile High City right now. I'm representing okay. that, so I wanted to go out smoking and having a, a very nice time in the sheets if we if we could. Um, oh, are you in a castle doing this? No, but you imagine the castle's doing it. Oh, you don't actually put her in a castle or whoever in a castle. It, it depends on where your castle's at. It can oh, be in your mental. mind. Okay. Yeah, I don't like mental mind. castles. I like you real like castles. Mental castles sometimes don't can be the best. Thing. Okay. Well, give me a real castle. You want a real castle? <laughs> <laughs> I want those fake castles. <laughs> no, ain't nothing fake about it now. It's real now. It's real. No, no. But sometimes you got to start mentally in order to know if, if you're, if I'm even worthy of giving you a castle. Or you can afford it. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So tell me more Something. about your album. Uh, more about the album. Um, Rhythm and Basquiat. It's really a mixtape. Um, I have a lot of good features on there. Uh, I'm looking for some New York artists to okay. finish it up. Um, it's gonna be you need background up. singers? I do. You know, I, I sing background. Do. Well, let's sing with me. I don't really like the background thing. I think we all do a collective. Thing. Oh, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I can sing. Background. What, what song are you sing? Anything you tell me to sing. Anything? Uh, can you sing? Uh, Ain't no mountain high enough right now. I sure can. Sing it. I'm gonna sing it after the interview. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that after the interview. We'll say that then. We'll say it. <laughs> but no, um, the 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 mixtape is uh, definitely coming along very fine. I'm about. 90% done with it. Um, uh, shout out to my manager, I kept management because he kind of helped develop the whole idea. Okay. 
uh, behind it. And just diving into the art, I felt like Basquiat being in New York, um, he built a lot of the culture here when it came to art as far as urban art being accepted uh, and pop urban art culture. Um, and that's kind of what I want to do in some of the regions that, I, that I'm based in, uh, is just help build the culture of art and, and then overall add my little two cents to what art is. So your teammates, what do they think about you doing this, you know, your music? Very supportive, very supportive. I think at first when I left, when I walked away, a lot of them was like, bro, you still can play. Why not play? But they started listening to the music a little bit more. And as I got a little bit better and more comfortable with who I am as an artist, um, they started to see like I made the right decision. So they've been nothing but supportive. Um, I have a couple guys playing. Shout out to Talib, CJ playing in the Super Bowl this weekend. It's going to be great. Um, those guys are very supportive. I send them music all the time, and they always in, in the DMs and, and, and telling me to send them things. So. You should have been singing at the Super Bowl. I should. Since they, since they can't out. find anybody. Listen, I would, but I'm going to be real with y'all. I stand with Cap. So shout out to my brother Cap and it too. I love you. Um, okay. Yeah, that's my That's, that's big nice. Bro. That's yeah. big bro. So I would love to sing there, but when they let my dog back in or they give him some kind of retribution for what he's going through and back off his case, I'll sing. I happily sing. Well, he's fine. Nike he's has cool. endorsed him. He's, he's fine. Cool. He's he doesn't cool. need to be he, football They never anymore. let go, though. They never let go. He was always with Nike. Yeah, but. It helps so that he has a bigger check now. For sticking Hi, by. Nike. We love you. <laughs> no. So my question to you is, what's next on the horizon? What's next? We're doing a short film, so look out for that. It's about to be big. I think uh, I'm going to get a little bit more personal, let people dive into who Nathan Palmer is. Oh, uh, Who are you? Uh, you got to watch the film to see it. Uh, is this an up close and personal? Is this a biopic? Uh, no, it's actually going to be a... Um, I say my modern day take on what Rome, my I think Romeo and Juliet should be. I'm afraid to ask what do you think that is, since you have these imaginary castles in your head. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like they should uh, be non-judgmental. Um, love should lead the relationship. It should. It should. Life in a perfect world. In a perfect world, and that's what I'm trying to create. Uh, that perfect world for people to go to. Are you that, a that cancer? No, I'm not. Oh, but my mom you? is. So what is your sign? I'm an Aries, actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You didn't have those fantasy thoughts, those cancers. The cancers? Yeah. No, 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 no. I create the fantasy. Oh, okay. I've lived it. Okay. A couple times, but, you know, I like to create it for others. Anything else to touch on? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so what influences made you do this album? Like, what people influenced you? Um, It started off with Sade. Uh, I did one. I love her. Yeah, I did a cover of uh, Ordinary Love. Uh, we were sitting in Chicago. Um, I did that, and then it led to me doing King of Sorrow by her. And then that kind of just led down. Have the you path. met her? Uh, no, I would love to meet her. I would love to meet her. She's a, a, a beautiful. She's going to see this, and she's going to call you. <laughs> hey, call me. Okay. Uh, let, hit up Patrick. He got the number. <laughs> Go ahead and call me. We can set something up. I love you. <laughs> uh, but it was kind of um, wanting to start off there and then it kind of ventured off into other uh, inspirations like the Red Hot Chili Peppers they were at that Super Bowl with Bruno Mars um, uh, Alicia Keys shout out to New York um, Alicia Keys uh, inspired one of the records on there um, so just listening to a lot of those tapping in uh, on the old school Anita Baker the, the classic women the divas mm -hmm. shout out to Patrick who has a wonderful book too uh, if I could throw that in there. Shout out to Patrick. Thank you. Diana <laughs> Ross. Was she Diana Ross. Too? Yes, Diana Ross, of course. Okay. Um, I was more so, uh, well, yeah, we ain't going to touch on that. Uh, <laughs> but um, definitely those were some of the inspiration. Um, and then I wanted to model, mo uh, model it after something that, you know, Frank did and uh, uh, something that Miguel, you know, some of the guys that I listen to that are current now will be proud of. So. Okay. Well, congratulations well, on your new you so album. Much. And thank you so much for, for the opportunity. I'm yeah. putting in the universe. Triple platinum. Ooh, Grammys. Right. Awards. Listen, Oscars. Listen, I go triple platinum and we get a diamond album. I got that castle for you. All right. All right. Let's do it. I love it. All right. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up? This is your boy Nathan Palmer, a.k.a. Napalm. Make sure y'all go check out Rhythm and Basquiat. And right now you tuned in to Donna Briggs with D. Briggs Media.